Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Boohoo try on haul. I recently picked up a bunch of stuff from Boohoo. I spent about 215 Canadian dollars, but I got everything at 50% off because if you've looked at Boohoo and the site, you know that they always have some sort of deal going on. I basically just picked up a bunch of stuff because I'm going to be starting my practicum soon and I needed some clothes to, you know, wear to look kind of semi fancy. So I picked up a bunch of things. Some of them are not so appropriate for my practicum, but some of them I can wear just as like casual clothing. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you the items that I picked up. I'm going to tell you kind of how they wear on me, the quality, and my experience with the customer service from Boohoo and ordering with them. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to get right into it. If you guys are interested, I will have everything, all the information listed down below. I'm going to include all of my sizes that I picked up, and if it's helpful for you guys, I will include my measurements as well. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you guys. So if you are interested in seeing this Boohoo try on haul, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is the first top. This is the Phoebe Frill Hem Blouse, and I got it in the color black. And this one is in a size US 4. I got a size US 4 because uh, my boyfriend's sister had ordered this one, and she got a 6, and it was quite large. So I went to size down in this one, and I think it fits pretty well. It's supposed to be, like, pretty loose. And then it's got the frill around here that's not tight. And then it's just a little bit longer in the back. But overall, I think it fits me pretty well. And I like it. It's it's nice quality. It's probably something that you would find in like a, maybe a Sirens or if you live in Canada, we have Dynamite. That's pretty comparable to the quality of this top. But I like this one. I think it's like just like a nice plain black blouse. So this next one is the Nadia Rib Knit choker jumper and it's not something I would normally pick out for myself because I actually am not I don't know I never felt comfortable wearing these kind of chokers before but I actually really like the way this one looks and the quality of it is really nice so I got this one in a size 6 a US 6 which is I believe a UK 10 and it fits me really nicely I'm not a fan of tight shirts because I don't like feeling constricted in this area and it's actually quite nice and I think it just I don't know it, it fits me in all the right places and I just really like it and then again this one has like the you know U shape in the back and the nice thing about this one is the choker isn't too tight either it is pretty stretchy so I don't feel like restricted in my neck area but I definitely like this one and I would highly recommend getting this one Okay, so this next top is the Millie three-quarter length sleeve open neck blouse, and it's the same kind of thing. It has the collar and then the v-neck. This is probably one of the shirts I wouldn't wear to my practicum just because it is quite low cut. Honestly, I think if I was going to redo my Boohoo purchase, I probably wouldn't have gotten this shirt just because I feel like in the shoulder area, it's a little bit restricting. Like I feel like my shoulders are too broad for the shirt and I can't wear a full bra with this shirt. I have to wear a bralette or something that's a little bit, you know, more streamlined because it just would be too tight around this area. But I do still like this shirt. I got it in a size six US. And other than the fact that it just feels a little bit tight, um, I do like it. I think it's a really nice quality. This one is actually probably one of the nicest quality shirts that I picked out. It feels like something I would buy from Aritzia. And I think it's super nice. I just don't like the fact that when I, you know, go like this with my arms, it feels a little bit tight because it does feel kind of constricting. But then the same thing, it kind of comes up a little bit higher on the sides, but then it goes down into a U shape as well. So yeah, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, but um, if you are going to purchase it, definitely size up. But I think it's cute. I just probably wouldn't repurchase it if I needed another one. So this one is the Sasha Oversized V-neck Jumper, and I got this one in the shade Chocolate, I believe, and this one is the small medium size, I'm pretty sure. I really like this sweater. It is quite oversized, like it's pretty big, but I really like how it's just kind of like comfy and it still looks nice though, like it doesn't look like a frumpy sweater. And I think the quality of this one is really nice as well. When I first opened this one, I kind of thought that the the material felt a little bit scratchy, but I feel like when you very first put it, put it on, it can feel a little bit scratchy, but as your body kind of warms up the material, it starts to feel really soft. So when I first put it on, I'm kind of like, not sure if I really like it. But then after I've been wearing it for about five minutes, I don't even notice and it does feel like a really soft, warm sweater. I like how it can be a little bit off the shoulder if you want it to be. And the sleeves are a little bit longer. So if you want, you could like roll them up a little bit. You could just make it a little bit more fashionable. And then it's same thing in the back. It does just come a little bit lower and then it's got these like slits on the side. Overall though, I am really happy with this jumper. I purchased it because 
I saw Amy Macedo talking about it. She had the black one and the olive one, I believe, and I thought it was really cute, and I'm really impressed with this one, and I would definitely 100% recommend it. And I'm pretty sure this sweater was, like, really cheap. I'm really impressed with this one. I think the quality is great and I absolutely love this sweater. So this one is the rosy collarless button through shirt and this one's got like the dolman sleeves I think they're called where they're like a little bit you know lower here and this one I got in a size 6 I believe as well and I really like this shirt. Originally when I first put it on I was kind of like mm, kind of looks like a pajama shirt to be honest but I think with jeans and heels it would actually look quite cute. Um, it's not too low cut in the front which is nice because it actually sits back on your shoulders a little bit so it's kind of a shirt that I never probably would have purchased had I not purchased it online but now that I have it I think it's actually quite cute and the, the material of it is a little bit um, not like rough but it's not super soft either but I think that's nice because then the material won't wrinkle and it's not see-through which is nice because sometimes when you order online white stuff it can be see-through and so that's one of the things I was worried about but I think it's quite nice and then the same thing it does go a little bit lower in the back as well so you could wear this with leggings as well just because it does go lower and covers this like tushy area <laughs> but other than that I think it's really cute and then in the back it's got kind of like a V to out to your shoulders. I believe this one is 100% cotton as well. I'm pretty sure that was one of the selling points online for me was that it was cotton because it's kind of hard to find like cotton shirts nowadays, but I do like this one. I think it is nice for going out or casual wear or just even going to work. So yeah, I definitely would recommend this one if you like this kind of like open kind of top and then a little bit more flowy. Of a shirt but I like it. So this one is the Alice soft knit jumper dress and I got this one in the, the size small and shade silver and I really like this. It's super soft like it's quite a bit softer just to the touch than the last sweater that I tried on. Uh, the thing that I like about this one is that it's not super tight as it goes down because as I've said I'm not a fan of tight fitting stuff. Um, it is a little bit shorter in the back but I would imagine since it's a sweater dress you're probably going to be wearing it with leggings because it's kind of like winter wear. Um, so I've paired it with faux leather leggings and I think it looks super cute. I really like this. Again, probably not something I would have normally picked out for myself. I'm kind of like stepping out of my comfort zone here. But I like how the neckline is like quite wide on the top and it just kind of comes right to that top point of your collarbone right there. Um, but yeah, I think this dress is really nice and really soft and it is not see-through. It's just that it is quite a big knit so I would recommend maybe a tank top underneath or you know leggings because if you're just wearing your underwear under this dress you're probably going to be able to see it so if you're just looking for like a dress that you can wear with no leggings I probably wouldn't recommend this one but how I have it paired with the leggings right now I think it looks super cute especially with a pair of like short boots I think that's going to be a good winter outfit. So this one is the Ashley front tie floral shift dress and I got this one in the size 6 as well and this one does fit me really nicely. I actually like how it's like very movable like a shift dress would be. The only thing though is since it is like an open tie front you do have these kind of keyholes here where you would probably want to wear a tank top underneath otherwise you can see like your undergarments. But other than that I think this is a nice dress. The quality of it is nice. It's not what I expected it to be like it is quite a thin dress so it might be kind of cold for the winter but again I would probably pair this one with like leggings and boots and it would be fine. But yeah it is like I wasn't expecting the material to be how thin it is. I wish I could describe it better, but it's just like a thin kind of... An airy, summery type of yeah, like material. It, yeah, it almost feels like it should be a summer dress just because of the material, but because it does have long sleeves, it's something I would probably wear more so in the fall or winter. But it's nice. It's a good length. It's not too short and it's not too long either. Like it comes to the nice kind of mid thigh point on me. And yeah, I just, I think this is really cute. I am a huge fan of dresses and leggings in the winter, so... I definitely like this dress and I think this one was quite cheap as well so I'm so far I'm pretty impressed with all the quality I think everything is pretty nice so this one is the Ellie rib knit short sleeve swing dress and I got this one in like a kind of I don't know like a burnt orange shade which I absolutely love I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone in terms of colors because I'm a huge fan of like blacks grays burgundies those kind of like dark you know, boring. Yeah, boring colors. Uh, so I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and I think this looks so cute on me. I think it's just like a really nice dress either for the summer or for the winter. With a pair of leggings, I mean, it's cute and it's super comfortable. Like it's, 
nice and flowy like it is a swing dress and it just kind of it comes down on the top here but it doesn't make me look like I'm wearing a bag dress you know what I mean like you know those dresses where sometimes they just hang off of you and they just don't look good because I think it's it makes it that way because it's tight up here but then it does kind of like flow out and same thing with this one it does come to a really nice length on me like it's not too short it's definitely not too short but it's not too long either and this one I believe I got in a size 6 as well and I would definitely recommend this size if you have the same measurements as me because it just fits so nicely I'm really impressed with this one the quality is really nice it's a nice thick rib knit material so I highly recommend this one I think this is probably my favorite out of everything that I got just because I think it's so cute okay so this is the last piece that I got and this is the Savannah floral shirt dress and this one I quite like as well again it's not the material that I thought it was going to be when I purchased it but I'm actually quite happy with the material and it feels like it's pretty nice quality to me um, again, something probably that you would get at like Dynamite or... I like this one. I do think it could be a little bit see-through though. So this is probably one that I would wear with leggings underneath, especially in the winter, just because otherwise my legs would be cold. But it has this like tie in the front so you can tie it to make it tighter around your waist, however, however tight you want. And then I believe actually I just noticed this now, but you can roll up the sleeves and then button them. So if you want rolled sleeves then you can do that as well. Uh, this one comes up to a pretty nice height as well with the buttons, it's not too low. And then it does have the collar because it is like a shirt dress. But yeah, I quite like this one. I think this might actually be my first day practicum outfit just because I think it's really cute. But yeah. So again, this one goes a little bit lower in the back, but I like that. I like that it's not too short, but not too long either. It feels so cute. You are cute. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so now just a little bit on my experience with the whole Boohoo ordering and shipping and everything and their customer service. I believe I placed the order on October 13th and the following day they had actually messaged me saying that they had shipped it already. So it only took them 24 hours to have everything together and to ship it out to me. And then from there, I believe it only took just over a week to get to Canada. So that was really great. I, did, I wasn't waiting for my shipment and they sent me a tracking number and everything so I could tell where it was and when I was gonna get it. And again, I said I got 50% off. And so overall spending $215 for, I believe I got nine pieces. I am very happy with what I got for what I spent. I think the quality of most of the stuff is very, very good. Some a little bit better than others, but overall I'm super happy. I don't think I overpaid for anything. And I'm just, there's a, there's actually some things I feel like I underpaid for, like the sweaters and some of the dresses. I feel like I could have probably paid more for them and they could have been worth more. And I just really like that the site does offer those discounted prices all the time because buying clothes can be super expensive. And I'm not the kind of person who likes to spend like $400 on a pair of jeans or $200 on a sweater. So I definitely like to go for for clothes that are a little bit you know more affordable but are still good quality so overall I really would recommend Boohoo I think they are a great company and my experience with them was really great this video is not sponsored by the way I bought all of this stuff myself they have not contacted me asking me if I wanted to do a video or anything but Boohoo if you do want to do a video I would be down because I've tried your stuff and I really like it so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're gonna try to purchase any of the stuff that I tried on definitely let me know don't forget to check the description box for all of the information that I may have missed in this video and for all of my sizing, measurements, all that kind of stuff. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!